This is a demonstration video looking at some of the chemical characteristics of helium. Many of us know that helium is used in balloons or airships to give lift. This works because the density of helium is less than that of air, so helium floats upwards with a force proportional to the density difference. This is shown in this clip where a tethered helium balloon is launched with a camera attached. More scientifically, helium is the second lightest element in the periodic table. It is chemically inert and a gas at normal temperature and pressure. However, when liquefied, helium is the coldest liquid known in the universe. In the second experiment, we are going to look at the arc discharge characteristics of helium gas. To do this, we'll be using a high voltage transformer, typically found on stun guns. When we discharge this in air, we see a blue colored arc. Now we introduce a tube and flow helium gas into our setup, and with our 40,000 volt transformer switched on, you see a reddish arc. Now if we compare these side by side, the difference in color is more obvious. The color difference is caused by the different electron orbits in the gases. In the next demonstration, we're going to look at some of the inert properties of helium. This can be demonstrated by using the flow of helium to extinguish a burning candle. Since helium does not support combustion, the candle flame is extinguished. Other examples where the inert properties of helium are very useful is in welding, notably aluminium alloys as the high thermal conductivity of helium also helps to make a narrower weld bead. Another application is diving where helium is used to substitute nitrogen to reduce nitrogen narcosis. In the next demonstration you can see how a helium filled balloon deflates quicker than a balloon filled with air. This is because helium is a very small molecule having a high permeability and diffusion rates through materials. This is the reason why the helium filled balloon deflates quicker. One of the many applications that make use of the small size of a helium molecule is in helium leak detection, which can be used to check for leaks in electronic packages or high vacuum systems when coupled with a mass spectrometer. The mass spectrometer is tuned to look for helium gas. In the final clip, we're going to look at a helium filled balloon again. This helium filled balloon has been weighted to lightly float in air. After it's been in the freezer for about half an hour, the balloon has shrunk due to the thermal contraction of helium. This has increased the density of the balloon now and it doesn't float. So as the balloon warms up, the helium will expand. This increases the volume of the balloon and decreases the density. And at some point, the density of the balloon will be less than the surrounding air and the balloon will float upwards. As helium gas is inert and has a low density, effectively any helium released floats up into outer space. Therefore, helium is effectively a finite resource and is likely to be one of the elements that will increase in price with time. One of the other properties of helium gas, due to its low density, is that it has a higher speed of sound than air. So one of the common party tricks is to breathe helium gas and have a squeaky voice. However, care should be taken if you intend to perform this activity as helium gas is inert and has no biological function. Therefore, you are displacing oxygen within your lungs. So when I breathe in helium gas, I make sure I have at least 20% of oxygen in helium so that I can still breathe. Be safe, remember to subscribe, and thanks for watching.